740,000 Americans have kidney failure. Out of those, about 200,000 are eligible for a kidney transplant. That means more than 500,000 Americans have no other option besides being tied to a dialysis machine for several hours a day, three times a week. 12 people die each day waiting for a kidney transplant. Ursula Perry reports now researchers have developed a device that may have patients saying goodbye to dialysis for good. They're about the size of a fist and filter about 35 gallons of blood a day. Your kidneys are vital to a healthy life. The kidney does two major things. One is to clean the toxins that accumulate in the body, as well as the fluid that accumulates in the body and get rid of them. But when your kidneys fail, your only option is to start dialysis and wait until a kidney is available. But... We have more than 100, 150,000 patients starting on dialysis, and we can only offer 30 to 40,000 kidney transplants a year. So researchers are developing an artificial kidney that may give patients an opportunity for a dialysis-free life. The device has two parts. We have a filter that separates waste products and salt and water from blood. And we have a bioreactor of cultured kidney cells that concentrate that filtrate down into a manageable amount of fluid. Doing the same work as a healthy kidney, but in an implanted device that's about the same size. It'll operate around the clock, not deterring people from traveling or enjoying certain activities. It's hard to travel if you're a dialysis patient. You have to find a dialysis unit wherever you're going. For Fissel, this research is also personal. I have kidney disease in my family. I have kidney disease. Even though he has not needed dialysis, he's working on the next steps to get this device to dialysis patients who need it the most. For every person who gets a kidney transplant, five people do not. Dr. Fissel hopes that they will have sufficient funding soon so that they can begin human clinical trials. And within two years, this device will be made available to patients with kidney failure. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Great news right there. Now, if you're feeling nostalgic for holidays of the past, why one expert says that feeling may be a good thing. That's next at 6. Celebrating the holidays this year could give a much needed boost to your mental health, even if they don't look much like the celebrations of the past. Reed Binions talks to an expert about those benefits of holiday nostalgia. COVID-19 has made this holiday season unlike any other. However, the wonderful things that come with the holidays should not be missed. In fact, celebrating could help your mental health significantly, experts say. 
when we change our environment and we invite color, light, sparkle, scents that we may not always have around us uh, during the year, that it, it shifts our feel-good hormones. Psychologist Deborah Sarani has found that enjoying seasonal pleasures boosted dopamine and serotonin levels in her patients. She believes it can also help others during this stressful year. One of the things that COVID and the pandemic uh, have done for us, unfortunately, is made us feel very isolated and disconnected. Take time to remember the memento or the ornament or the particular